May I introduce to you this hearty people magnetin Nigerian food combo. Goat meat pepper soup. Yay! Just look at the spread for one meal. To prepare goat meat pepper soup, you need goat meat, of course. Remember the day I prepped and cleaned this goat meat? You need to meticulously clean goat meat before cooking. I'll put the link to that video below. Here are the rest of the ingredients you will need. As always, full list is in the description box below this video. First, let's prepare agidi the first sidekick to goat meat pepper soup all you need to do is mix some fine corn flour or cornstarch with cool water start adding boiled water and stir till it thickens then cook over a stove till a drop of the gruel into chilled water sets almost immediately yeah it happens like magic then scoop into this leaf folded in a cone shape you can also use banana leaves You don't have either of the two scoop into a silicon ice cube tray like so cover and place in the fridge to chill fridge oh, not freezer <laughs> clean and cut the onions into quarters like this grind the ehu that is calabash nutmeg with a spice grinder till it's chewed like this yeah it has to be powdered the pot of goat meat on the stove add the seasoning cubes the ground calabash nutmeg with emphasis on calabash this is not ordinary nutmeg and stir till it steams while that is steaming please take a moment to click the subscribe button on my channel a lot of you just come and watch and go without subscribing why now when subscription is free yes it's absolutely free subscribe oh so youtube will know that you like the content on this channel when it's steamed all over add the chunks of onion and one of the habanero peppers who can guess why we are using chunks of onion? Answer will be in the comments below. Pour water to cover the goat meat and the rest of the contents of the pot. You can add salt at this time if you wish or you can wait and add it later. Cover and start cooking. The best vegetable to use when cooking goat meat pepper soup is scent leaves, hands down but because i am using the frozen one frozen scent leaves which does not look as fresh and green as it should i'll also add fresh green leafy vegetables that will bring a sharp green color just to help this meal look more appetizing when done any tasteless green vegetable will do if you have access to fresh scent leaves use only that okay no need to add another one because you know that one will bring the scent with the fresh green color <laughs> when the goat meat is done take out the pepper and the now deflated chunks of onions have you guessed why we used chunks of onions yet have you liked this video yet have you have you if you watch till this point you must be enjoying the video right so please like uh, can you cite the second sidekick to nigerian goat meat pepper soup over there in the background let me show you i'm cooking white rice over here you can serve goat meat pepper soup with agidi white rice boiled white yam etc depends on your preference Chop the pepper from the pot, add to the rest and blend. Please, please oh, add the quantity of peppers you can withstand. I added sweet peppers which are not spicy to add more color, more red color without setting our mouths on fire. Here I'm transferring the goat meat with the stock 
into another pot slowly decant so if there are any pieces of bones at the bottom which is common with goat meat they will not enter yeah when those tiny bones jam your teeth eh you don't want that at all Add the scent leaves, you can see that it's no longer as green, but the flavor is still there. If you are using fresh scent leaves, wait and add it later, don't add it now. Add the pepper, cover and let it boil for about 5 minutes. Add the fresh green leafy vegetables that we are using to beef up the color. If you're using fresh scent leaves, add it now. Cover and once the leaves wilt, it's done. By now, the agidi should be chilled and set. The rice is also done. Serve the goat meat pepper soup with any of these two. Look at that. Hearty comfort food for your family and friends. Come and eat. Come and eat. Click the video on the right to watch me prepare Nigerian pepper soup with assorted beef. Bye bye. See you soon.